up, you guys? On today's video, I'm going to be talking about a pretty cool trick that I learned from Greg Howe, more specifically his improvisation or his, you know, his famous video playing over um, that famous standard, Sunny. Um, and it's a, it's a very trippy type of tapping kind of lick. I actually enjoyed it a lot. Um, I think I added something new to my arsenal. A lot of times I do these types of videos. Um, I kind of just learn the, the move and I spit it back out. But this one, it kind of stuck, and I actually like the technique quite a bit. Fairly simple in terms of the concept. You're just playing your three note per string um, types of scales. In this video, more specifically, I'm playing the D Dorian scale. Again, doing three notes per string. And now the tricky thing to do is you're going to play the first two notes of that three note per string um, type of pattern with your left hand, and then you're going to add that third note with your right. All right, so let's take a quick look at the pattern that we're actually going to be using. Now, in terms of the actual phrasing of the scale, I kind of moved it a, quite a little bit to make it not sound so quite so scaly. I guess that's a way to say it. So yeah, I kind of shifted it around a tiny bit. I actually got kind of excited at the beginning of the video. So yeah, the main lick is not the full little improv I did <laughs> right at the end. Actually, if you're interested in that specific lick, the tablature for that lick, you can join my Patreon. Um, and for just $5, you can find the actual backing track um, that I use for the beginning of the intro. And you can also find the tablature. Um, but now let's go down to the actual lick. So as I mentioned before, I'm using the D Dorian scale and we're starting, we're just using a three note per string type of pattern. And that's going to go something like this. And like I mentioned before, just to make it a tiny bit more interesting, I'm mixing it up a tiny bit. I'm repeating some of the notes up at top. Um, and obviously you can complicate this a lot more. So I'm just showing you um, pretty much just a very specific lick. Um, but if you wanted to just move it all along all along the fretboard, um, almost went for all along the watchtower there. Um, if you just want to move it all along the fretboard, all you're gonna do is just move across the different three note per string patterns, something like this. And so just like that, you have a brand new move added to your arsenal. Now, another important thing to take notice, you're doing hammer-ons with your, um, pretty much, yeah, your left hand and whenever you're going up. And in my case, I like to do pull-offs whenever I'm coming back down. Um, so that's something you might want to incorporate, although you really don't have to. You could do hammer-ons the whole way through just like you would do with your legato technique. All right, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys learned something new. Remember, you can join me over at Patreon for all the behind the scenes um, type of like backing tracks, tabs, notations, and just a bunch of cool stuff, I guess. Um, remember, you can follow me on any type of social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, obviously here on YouTube. Um, and yeah, if you wanna learn more from me, you can Check out some of the different lessons that I offer over at my website, wantomusic.com. All right, thanks for watching.